property. A new project in North Carolina will help protect communities against extreme weather. Governor Cooper was in Gastonia today announcing a joint effort with FEMA to combat global warming effects, specifically flooding in the state. Yeah, and officials are laying out the state's plans for the $45 million that they're going to distribute to high risk areas here in North Carolina. Federal officials visited Duharts Creek in Gastonia today to announce a flood remediation project on a mile and a half stretch of the creek. Right now, critical infrastructure for the city is sitting on a floodplain. Sewage pipes, electrical poles, and completely exposed areas to flooding leave the city's hospitals, retail plazas, and certain residential neighborhoods extremely vulnerable. Governor Cooper stressed the importance of recognizing climate change and addressing potential problems before they happen. We know these weather events will keep happening again and again. So it's smart for us to invest now on the front end. The city received $5.9 million to carry out an extensive project over the next three to seven years. The current plan is to move the infrastructure off the floodplain and then restabilize the creek and bank to stop erosion. The FEMA administration also spoke at the event. They stressed the importance of the grant's role of emergency preparedness. Our future risks, they have to be met with aggressive and innovative disaster mitigation on a nationwide scale. In the area, Salisbury is receiving $22.5 million for water supply resiliency project along the Yadkin River. And Mecklenburg County is getting another $500,000 for a project on Briar Creek. And we see the need for this even more as the years pass. Yeah, you know, and, and with a fast growing city, it's kind of mm -hmm. just makes it even more important because we have such rapid runoff. We're getting heavier rain events. So there's two ways you got to combat this. You've got to mitigate it, obviously, by trying to reduce carbon dioxide and greenhouse emissions. But in the meantime, you got to adapt to it. So you got to make sure the infrastructure is ready for all this heavy rain. And we're seeing some of that heavy rain today. Strong storms out there. Look at this view.